Um, how was it? How was the cut down to a 125? How did how did it feel for you? Um, well, it took about a year, so just like a lot of running and a lot of extra training and stuff. Uh, the actual like water cut was pretty easy because I did all the work before. So. How did you feel in the in the cage? At Great, actually, like better than I've ever felt before at 35. Just like the work that I had to do to get to 25 made it made my cardio really good. I mean, she was tough, and it was a scrap, and I was like I was tired after it because she was going hard too. So, uh, but I still had energy to finish her. Do you feel that the time off hurt you? No. No. Were no. You worried? <clears throat> I wasn't, was I worried? Yes. No, <laughs> no, I wasn't worried at all. Uh, I train uh, six days a week, um, between four and six hours a day, so I wasn't really sitting around doing nothing. I was practicing mixed martial arts, and it was just another day. Uh, Vegas Odds Makers had you as the underdog. What do you have to say about that? Good for them. I hope anybody who bet against me bet their fucking house and kids' college fund. <laughs> really, I, I hope they do. I hope they did. Do you think people just forgot about you? Like, well, I think so. They didn't see me fighting, so they were just like, nah. They, they were thinking I was getting old, doing nothing, sitting around, being lazy. Did you feel, coming to this fight, did you feel the hype that was around Andrea Lee? I felt it, I saw it, but I knew, I knew I was going to win, like I knew it. I didn't care what happened, like I was going to come out of there with a winner, I didn't care. You know, that fight was, was a pretty long, hard fight, um, did you have any injuries after the fight? And, yeah, and she hurt, like I got a bruise here, a bruise here in my face, like she's a tough girl, a uh, skilled girl, not just tough, like I actually think she could have beat Vanessa or Jennifer tonight. And is, are you looking to fight uh, sooner rather than later? Or um, I'm off? hoping they give me the title fight next against Jennifer. Because, look, I put Vanessa away in the first round when I fought her years ago. Uh, and now I'm a stronger fighter at a, at a lighter weight. I put away their, their 125 prospect. I mean, I had to put her to sleep. That chick, wouldn't, she wasn't tapping. Uh, I, think, I think I would finish Jennifer, too, especially given five rounds. What did you think of the um, the co-main event, the title fight tonight? Uh, <laughs> uh, I don't want to say. I don't want. I don't want to be rude. So I'm not gonna say. So have you talked to Shannon? Or have you, are you gonna talk to her? Right now? I told her before we even. I told her when I got here. Uh, me and Andrea should be should have been fighting for the title and I was gonna call out whoever wins that belt tonight. Like I told her, I knew I was gonna win. And I told her, you need to give me that, that fight next. I'll beat whoever I am not, I'm not scared of any of these girls. What took you so long to go to 25? Was it just? Uh, just making sure I did it the right way. I don't wanna, I don't wanna cut 20 pounds to, to make 25 and then feel like shit in the fight. Like, that's stupid. Uh, just doing it the right way, running it off, training it off, instead of having to cut it off. Was, um, was that the fight you were expecting out of Andrea? No, I thought she was going to give up in the first round. Uh, uh, she earned my respect there. I, uh, I'll be honest, I didn't respect her before that, and but I respect her now. She made me. She made me respect her. Very, very good fighter. Uh, she's just gotta not let it get in her head and keep training. She'll she'll have her time again. Do you feel like you needed to finish it in the third round? Yes. Yes. There was no other choice. No, because I mean, you want to get down to the to the bare bones of it. Like she's no matter what, she's she's the good looking one, and uh, they're gonna give it to the good looking fighter. That's the way I felt. <coughs> so yeah. <laughs> So if you don't get that, that the next title shot, would you wait for another fight? Or, I mean, fight another fight, or would you wait just for the title shot? Dude, I'll, I'll fight whoever gives me a title fight. I don't... Like, yeah. Uh, uh, I feel like I am one of the best 125ers in the world right now. That's what I feel like. 
So whoever wants to give me a title shot, give it to me. You train over at CSA, and there's a bunch of killers over there. What do you attribute their success to? Uh, that they train really hard. We have a really good, uh, it's like a family environment over there. Um, everybody just, everybody gets their work in. The coach is great. Like, he makes sure that uh, everybody who comes through the door gets their training. It's just, it's a, it's a big family. Um, when people feel like uh, they're not involved in a family, it, I, I think it doesn't help them like, thrive. And when you feel like you're in your home, that's what makes people thrive. They're comfortable.